Management by objectives is a management system where managers and employees work together to develop the various areas of responsibility for the employees. The way that this works is they start off by setting SMART goals and then they then use those goals at the end of the evaluation period to determine the overall employee's performance. This becomes a relatively simple process of answering the question of whether or not the employee accomplished the things that were agreed to at the beginning. So the process for engaging in MBO is we start with establishing the goals that uh, the employee needs to work on over the course of whatever the evaluation period is. This is usually done as a collaborative process between the employee and their manager. Once those goals are in place, then those goals are translated into various objectives, and each objective has an action plan associated with it. Then at the end of the appraisal period, of whatever the time period is, the results are uh, appraised. And the basic question is, once again, whether or not the employee achieved the objectives that were agreed upon at the beginning, and then take any sort of corrective action if needed. Now, there's lots of benefits to approaching management in this way. The Probably the biggest benefit is that the employee understands the tasks and duties that they need to do in order to receive a satisfactory performance appraisals. A lot of times, employees and managers are of different minds in terms of what it takes to, to, be, to have good performance. And so this helps clarify or, or clear that up. Also, the work can be assigned or tailored to each employee to uh, basically to take advantage of whatever strengths uh, that they have as well as their interests. Also, this can reduce redundancy because you have the various tasks assigned to, to different people. Also, this makes sure that the organizational goals are aligned with the goals of the employee because the, the employee who achieves their goals should, uh, by achieving those goals, help the organization achieve theirs. Also, this helps encourage an open flow of communication, not only in terms of the beginning where the manager specifies what it is the employee needs to, to do, but also hopefully uh, even throughout the process that there is a communication about where the employee currently stands on their progress towards achieving their goals. Also, this is helps align effort to make sure that employees are working towards the good of the organization and also helps increase their the focus of employees to make sure that they're paying attention to the things that are most important. And the overall effect of this is it has a tendency to increase the motivation of the employee, as well as to make them feel more empowered because they get to, you know, negotiate, if you will, the objectives that they uh, are going to meet that that term with their manager. And upon achieving those goals is a very satisfying experience.